Hey viewers, welcome. Hey viewers, and welcome to Burton Magistrates Court. Come and have a look. That's fancy. Oh, that ceiling. That's lovely. I really like that glass roof that's intact. And the marble walls are really nice. And this must have been the main entrance. Oh no. Oh, that office. Like all of the important buildings in the town, the Burton upon Trent coat of arms features in the design as a stained glass window. Ah, I love the hardwood. It even smells of top quality hardwood. Look at the light. I love that. In the early 1990s, a new police station and youth court buildings were built next to the magistrate's court. Sadly, the courts were closed by the Conservative government in 2016 to save money, and the buildings oh, were put up I've for sale. I've seen this on the internet. More side rooms. Call number one. Magistrates only. Wow. And that's comes to retiring room. I guess that's where the jury goes to talk things over. That's so cool. Got a little update, Harry. The CCTV is on and it's working. Well, really, though, we're already in. It's quite nice in there. Is this the court? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, they might be locked. Then the security system's on as well. Yeah. Now he's getting some nice photographs. There's a camera up in that corner and the infrared's on on it. Yeah, okay. How, oh. Don't make a mess. Um, how far that way can we go before we get in the police station? I think all the way. All it's, the way? It's the other building now. Oh, okay. Ah, it's like separate. Okay. Do you want me to photo bomb all these shots? Oh, that goes down. Let's go down here. So I think this is where the naughty people would be. In here. And then we'll have a look down there.
Nej, nej, det kan ikke. Mm, så nu er det bedre, at vi flytter down her. Det er så bare så bruge pumpen der. Og hvad det skal blive. Og det er så mop head deep. Quite a lot of water there. Not quite know how that's happened. So it doesn't look like that usually floods because they've got the wooden rack in for storage. And then it all starts to flood again that way. The water level is about an inch deep and then gets deeper. But I think those would have been the holding cells. Through there somewhere. We've got stairs up again. That's quite deep. That's over the top of my boots deep. So I don't really want to go in there. Not like a panic alarm there too. It's like there used to be quite a substantial gate on here. And then the bars above. You know, there's, a, there's a pump in there too, but I think the power must be off to it. Because if that was running, that would remove all the water. Hopefully, we'll crush any of Harry's shots. This is the main bit, the main area. There's some sort of panic buttons in here as well. I'm presuming that's what they are. And the glass, very thick glass. That would have been where the uh, where the judge would have sat. Here are a couple of examples of Harry's photography. It's a bit dark. Yeah, so. You don't want the highlights to be blown out in the image. Okay. So you'll be able to retain the detail in the highlight of the windows. Like, and then you can bring up the shadows. I didn't know that. So you don't lose any detail in the image at work. Oh, nice. Yeah. And that's how we're getting some nice photographs in, in here. It's a lovely building. It's a nice building. Yeah. Just the glass needs cleaning, that's about it. So you said the security system is off, but the CCTV is on? Yes. Right. But some of the door systems are still active. I feel like that's internal CCTV. Yeah, I'm hoping that just that camera there, viewers, is on and working. I'm just hoping that goes to an internal DVR or NVR somewhere and no one's actually looking at the footage. The level of attention to detail made by the craftsmen who hand carve these hardwood doors is quite an example of the architecture of this building. I don't know what that is, that's a Z45. It's a new a big diesel powered mute. So you don't have to worry about it? No. no. It's not like a cook. Yeah, beeping, yeah, proximity. Good feeling one of those might be my thumbnail. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to put the fish eye on and see what it looks like. Yeah. What are these then? Are they what they used to plug something into? Like, what are they for? They can't be ashtrays, they've got to be. 
something to like plug something into. Well, they're not moving. Are they? No, they're very brassoed up. I think some up there were like open, like a socket. One of these, yeah. What is that? Oh, it's a thing for a pen. You know, a pen quill. Old school pen where you like dip, 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 dip. And then you wrote with it. Possibly not. We've got to, we keep delving into the depths of the class system, don't we? We're not elitists, really. We're working class people. So that isn't outside up there. That is that loft space that we looked at earlier. So just over here viewers, this is the main man's chair. This would have been the judge. I've never been to court. So this is the judge. He must have had dirty hands. I was rubbed his hands on there, look where he's been summing people up. Or her, because I'm not sexist. Hand carved hardwood. How cool is that? Got a feeling that that is just going to get left behind. Is that where the witness stands? I think there. And then the. Well, I don't even know what they're called. People who've been naughty, or potentially naughty, are in there. There'll be people going to who've been to court and going, that's a such and such. But well, I don't know what they are. Would you like a potential look in the other rooms, Harry? Um, definitely. Yeah, let's do that. So this is uh, one of the retiring rooms. Well, I think it's where they sort of ponder about if the person's guilty or not. I think that's what they do. I've never really been to court. Well, I haven't. Um, and I don't want to break that trade, really. Someone's come through here with size 12 boots on. It might be me. Sorry about that. Look at the ceiling, though. That's lovely. I oh, really like that. So this will be the main room that's outside with a big. That'll be this. And then there's some more rooms this way. There's another courtroom in here, a smaller one. Maybe not. Maybe this is an office. Big office. That'll be a way out, I think. Fire exit. There's marble fireplace. And what's that way? What is back into the court? Back into the courtroom. Um, I'm sure I've got into a different room. A bit of a maze. It is a bit of a maze. I think it's further that back that way. What, this way? Yeah. Down there on the left. There's another courtroom. Oh yeah, this is that. Oh, I'm getting confused now. That's got to be the main entrance. It's got to be. I don't think you okay? You alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know my way around. Do you want me to lead the way a bit? Or? Um, yeah. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know where, where to go. Let's try every door, I guess. Okay, so we found the stairs. Yeah, do you want to go upstairs? Yeah. Let's do it.
look outside. Right, okay. Written stuff, aren't they? Oh, they've got beat in the glass tiles in the floor. This is literally it's a dead end. Literally? literally a dead end. And then you can get the loft space. I thought it'd be something. Oh, wow, it's got a glass roof in the loft. Go at least have a look. That in all fairness is quite cool. And then that'll be the roof over. The main courtroom. Yeah, it's like an iron guard of roof. Glass. Interesting. Reminds me a bit of Ridgely Hospital, because that had a section like that. This is the room that sells it to me. It's a marble pillars, no class roof, please. I can tell they were spending other people's money. back into that office room. That's court number two retiring room. So yeah. there must be a call for you. Okay. It's down here then. So it's gotta be the seventies now. It's got that seventies vibe. In the nineteen nineties viewers, a youth court was built on the side of the existing courts and that is what we've now ventured into. No idea what that is. Any idea what that is? No. Give the receipt and you need a pen. It's like it's like a money comp machine. Oh, is if it? you get a find you have to put the money in there. Well, possibly. I don't know. It's a bit like an ATM. Maybe. And then that's back to the main court. This is like the back of the building. This is like the little waiting rooms. Oh, are these like interview? Nah, they don't interview people either, do they? Obviously, you can speak to the lawyer. Ah, uh, and they can film it. Watch the evidence back on there on the Goodman's TV. It's a bit confusing. It's a confusing building, isn't it? There's a lot of. All the power's on still. Plant room. Plant room. I like a plant, plant room. room. Yeah. I do like a plant room. Ah, a couple of boilers. Three boilers. So we've got probably two for heating. And it was last serviced in 2014. It was last serviced. 
and then that was possibly a hot water boiler. It's just the plant machinery. Wow, that's quite old school. Midcon Systems Limited. Almost feels like the lights on. There's that much sunlight coming in. in that tape deck and someone in the comments tell me how much one of those will cost nowadays it's got nine headphones out sockets one microphone in this counts on 158 wow tape deck I've got the chairs in. The wheelie chairs. You can tell there's a class system. Because the normal people have the little blue fold up chair. And then the slightly more senior person has a green swivel chair. And then the senior people have bigger swivel chairs. But there isn't a class system. When do you reckon, Harry, Curry's last sold a tape deck? We've got no idea, we've got it. Mid 2000s. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Like I had a. You know those CD ones where they look a bit like a ball, a squashed ball? Yeah. Yeah, probably one of them. And it had a CD on the top and the tape deck on the front. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. Classic. <laughs> It was like fancy projector lights up there. They must have displayed something on here. Where there's been a coat of arms. There's like, can you see that? There used to be a coat of arms on there that's been removed and they used to have dedicated projector lights to light up the coat of arms. Not more elitist than that. We saw this from the outside, didn't we? It looked like a leisure centre. It's the security officer's logbook. Should we sign it? When was it last signed? Last shift date, 25th of June, 2013. G4S. the waiting room. You'd be disappointed, wouldn't you, if you, uh, if you got this hot room instead of the, uh, the last one? Yeah, you'd want the, uh, you'd want the old one, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you was going down? Yeah, you wouldn't want to come in this shit one. I think there's lights on in there. Yeah, there's still lights on in here. How random. I bet this was a little courtroom too. Got a twin tape deck in this one. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? With a big LCD readout. I like that. How do you open the tape decks? Eject. I don't know if it'll work without power on. No, you need power on it to open the tape door. 
Oh no. to turn it on. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a tape deck where you need a key to turn it on. Just above the tape deck in the ceiling is a Sennheiser and it calls it an IR power radiator. Can anyone tell me what that is? Because it's got like phono inputs. And then it's got like power inputs. Never seen one of them before. Is it some sort of like weird speaker with a display on it? Yeah, them glass windows are quite unique. I would dare say they're custom made. Oh yeah. Not really. So it's been a big extension just to add one courtroom. Well, the second one in there, I think it's quite small. Yes. I wonder if that's why they stopped using it, because it's such a massive building with just two small courtrooms in it. Too expensive using the... Ah. I think that's the CTV server up there. Oh, I've got a stairwell here, but I think there's a big gate at the bottom of it. Yeah, I think that gate will shut. Where does that go? Oh, yeah, back down to the entrance. So I'll go the other way. It's not stainless, that. All the brass signage has been removed, probably by opportunists. Yeah, it's a big stone steel gate that goes down to the same room. By the walls of geography. So there's a surveyor's mark there. So there's been surveyors in it? Yeah. yeah. Not quite what for. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this is the one of the two best rooms. Oh, it's something else, isn't it? I've got a feeling they didn't, they didn't let the bad people in this bit. This was where all the judges and stuff, people like that went. See, City Borough of Brighton upon Trent, these courts were opened by His Worship. The Mayor Councillor Thomas Jenkins on the 14th day of December 1910. So these were opened on the 14th of December 1910. And to look at, apart from a bit of TLC, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Well, we just close them because they're a bit small. Yeah, there's a water leak there, but that probably just needs tidying up on the roof and cleaning up. It's not, it's not in a bad way. So this was the female witnesses area. Toilets. This is literally just toilets now. Just a little toilet room. Three of those, and this little foyer for them to. Ian. Harry getting some cracking shots. What's in this one? Used to say something on there. Probably male witnesses. Yeah, I see sexism, you see, because this is bigger. On the toilet. Jeanette. Drink water to go to Baton upon Trent Magistrates Court plus crates.com. Hmm. 
to the furniture, slight water leak, but otherwise good. And then, don't think we've been through this one. Magistrates Clark, private. Is it Clark or Clark? Oh yeah, we've been through here. That's that safe that Harry rightly found with a really, really heavy door. So we would have put important things in there. Like a floor and a half to hold. And that was it. That is the Burton upon Trent Magistrates Court from 1910. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe on the circle, or please subscribe by pressing the circle on the screen now. And uh, I'll see you, uh, see you next Thursday at 4pm UK time. Bye bye for now.